think maybe I'm at about 10 or 11 million now directly to charity as well as the money that is in the two charities here and in Northern Ireland. You know you have those conversations about what would you do if you won the lottery? My first thing is always who am I going to help? Who am I going to give to? Not, the charities were on the list but obviously your family, your friends. I get to change people's lives every day if I want to and I thought it's a thing you can now share with other people. So one, if you're feeling down, helping other people and doing something to help other people will lift you. And two, if you can, giving to other people, whether it's time or money or whatever, it's really important and it gives you a buzz and it's, it's, it's addictive. I'm addicted to it now. Oh, who needs all that money? Why wouldn't you? I've done that all my life. I'm not being funny. I'd have been a millionaire anyway if I'd have took back all the money I've given away over the years. Seriously. People will tell you. You know, I, I mean, I, people do ask me, how do you cope with that amount of money? I said I didn't, never did. It wasn't in the bank two days and I was sp started giving it out. In fact, it really wasn't. And the day it hit my bank, I was starting to dish money out. I said this at the time. Somebody said, would it change you? I said, it'll change our lives instantly but it can't change the person that you are. It's an inanimate object, it's money. If you're stupid, you're stupid. And money's not gonna make you sensible. Money liberates you to, to be the person that you want to be. And I think, I think if I had any advice for a winner, that's what I'd say. I'd say think about what type of person you are and what type of person you want to be.